guys, it's Janine Amapola and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new here, hello, I'm Janine. I hope you will subscribe. I post fitness, beauty, faith, and travel videos, and life hacks, and vlogs, and all sorts of things like that. And if you're a returning subscriber and you're not seeing my videos in your feed or your subscription, definitely hit that little bell so you can be notified when I upload a video because YouTube is shady and doesn't push out my videos anymore. As you guys know, I fell in love with fitness over a year ago and I've been on this long fitness journey to kind of just better myself and really just get in shape and be more toned. Throughout my fitness journey, I made a lot of mistakes and did a lot of things that really stunted my progress and didn't really help me see the progress that I wanted. And I didn't really realize at the time what I was doing. But because I've been doing this for a little bit over a year now, I've learned a lot of things and I think that I could probably help you guys out and maybe help you realize some mistakes you're making in your fitness journey or kind of just debunking some myths and so I wanted to help you guys out in this video today hopefully it does help you out and I'm, and I'm rocking my Gymshark shirt today just got these I most likely will be doing a review and haul soon so stay tuned for that but let's just get right into this video and I hope it helps you guys out okay so number one my first mistake was thinking just because it was healthy that it means I can just keep eating it and eating it and it won't make me gain weight. So, no that's not true, unfortunately. Just because something's healthy doesn't mean it won't make you gain weight. So for example, I was eating, you know, mangoes all the time and almonds and just snacking, snacking, snacking and being like, oh it's healthy, you know, I can eat it. That's not necessarily true because a lot of those might have high fat or a lot of calories or lots of sugars, healthy sugars, but still. So just because it's healthy doesn't mean it won't contribute to you gaining weight. And so what I kind of realized is that, okay, instead of me, you know, sitting there and eating that and binge eating that and thinking because it's healthy, I can eat it. I've learned to kind of just, you know, moderate, okay, maybe I'm not really that hungry and maybe I should drink some water or apple cider vinegar or just kind of moderate my portions and how much I'm eating throughout the day. So that's something I kind of believed and I think that's kind of why I wasn't really losing weight or fat or really seeing the results that I wanted. Number two was just the mistake of just overeating and my portions control. So a lot of the times I would make this really, really big meal. And again, this goes back to thinking it's healthy. I would have quinoa and chicken and vegetables and that's all healthy, but it's too much food and the portions are too big. So I've really learned to kind of start reducing how much I'm eating and I'm still, it's still really satisfying because a lot of the times I would sit there and I have this big plate and I would feel like I was obligated to eat it because I was like, oh man, I already cooked it. I got to eat it. And even though I'm full and I feel like I'm full, and I'm, I'm just stuffing myself because I'm like, I already made it. I got to eat it and like not controlling my portion. Your portions will really lead you to gaining weight and not losing weight if you're not really monitoring that. So I've learned to kind of just like measure a little bit more what I'm eating. And if I feel full, then take note of that and be like, okay, Janine, you're not hungry anymore, so you don't have to eat this. Put it in a Ziploc and eat it tomorrow, drink some water, and move on. And I think that's been really, really good because again, I used to have a really big portions, it just would stuff my face and be really, really bloated by the end of it because I was so full. So monitor your portions. Number three is kind of believing the lie that I had to deprive myself of certain foods that I love because they weren't healthy or just because it wouldn't fit into my calorie limit of that day. And so, for example, I cut out bread and pasta. Now, I love bread and pasta. I love them. And I really deprived myself of both of those for so long because I was like, oh no, bread and carbs and pasta are gonna make you fat. And that's not true. I mean, yes, it can be, but if you're monitoring it, if you're working out, if you're eating healthy, if you're still going underneath that calorie limit, that's if you're saying it within a calorie deficit for your body mass, then you should be able to eat pasta and bread. I've reincorporated bread back into my diet because I love bread. It again goes back to portions and how much you're eating that day and how much you're working out that day. I also monitor, you know, each day how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats am I intaking each day. And if it fits within that, which it usually does if I'm working out, then I can eat bread and I can eat pasta. I don't have to deprive myself of certain foods. And so I think a lot of people think like, oh, I have to eat salads every single day and I have to like eat air. Like, no, you don't have to eat air. You can still enjoy the foods you want, but work out and also just monitor what else you're eating that day to see if it fits within your lifestyle and your body and your calorie intake for that day. I do that by using this app called Lifesum. It's, it'll, be here, it'll be here on the screen, but it's L-I-F-E-S-U-M, Lifesum. This is not sponsored, but I use that to check my macros, which again is your carbs, fats, and protein each day. So I try to get a lot of protein in my diet. So yeah, you don't have to deprive yourself of certain foods like I thought I did. 
obviously don't go eating McDonald's every single day, but I now know like, okay, I can't eat bread, I can't eat pasta. Good carbs, you need carbs. They give you good energy, so yeah. So this kind of goes back to what I was just saying a second ago and wasn't really tracking my macros and my calories. Now, I don't want you to think that you have to be obsessed with your calories, you have to be obsessed with your macros because you don't. I don't want that to be like an unhealthy mentality for you guys, but I think it's also really important to know what each item has in it. How many carbs, how many sugars, how many fats, does each item have because if you're not really aware and you're just eating and eating then you could be gaining weight because you don't know what's truly in that item so like I said for example I was always snacking on a lot of fruit and not enough vegetables fruits have a lot of sugars in them and some have a lot of carbs and they could be leading you to gain weight so in the beginning of your fitness journey you should be tracking those to at least have an idea of how many calories you're eating each day how much fat how much carbs how much protein that way you can kind of get an idea okay oh maybe I shouldn't eat this many the X amount of apples or X amount of blah 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 so in the beginning um, just kind of track that so you can see really what you're eating in each day otherwise you might be going over the calorie intake for your body type and not really saying that calorie deficit for you and so yeah it's been really really important for me to kind of track that so I can really know what I'm eating each day again don't obsess over it but do it for a good time period so you know so you kind of know what each food has in the beginning and then after you kind of get used to it then you can kind of be like all right I now know I don't have to track anymore but I do like to track so I can kind of know what I'm doing each day for my body and stuff like that Another thing that I was doing wrong was kind of going to the gym with no plan. I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, I had a trainer, so that was really nice. But on the off days, like, I would do some cardio, I would do some legs, I would do some abs. But there were sometimes days where I would just go and never work out my arms or never work out my abs, and I would, like, miss that for a whole week. And that was, like, re really problematic because I think my arms are, like, something that I really, really want to work on the most. But there would sometimes be weeks where I wouldn't train them at all, and that was not okay. So. There needs to be kind of specific days where you know, okay, today I'm gonna do some cardio and some butt. Today I'm gonna do some cardio and some legs. Today I'm gonna do and blah, 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 blah. Like I would just kind of go and show up and I'd be like, I don't really know what I'm doing today. Right now though, I'm on a program with Kayla It Signs. Kayla It Signs is like a fitness kind of guru. She started her own ebook where you can follow the 12 week program. So I'm on that program right now and it's been really, really nice because I know, for example, on Monday, I know I'm gonna do legs. On Tuesday, I'm gonna do low intensity training. I'm, on Wednesdays, I'm gonna do abs and arms. On Thursday, I'm gonna do hit cardio. And on Friday, I'm gonna do a full body workout. So like, that's what I'm doing now. And it's been so nice going to the gym knowing what I'm doing. I'll have her ebook listed down below for you guys. It does cost, but it's been such an amazing thing I'm already doing and I already feel like I'm seeing results from it and I love the way it feels and stuff like that. So I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But yeah, you can't just go to the gym and not really know what you're doing because you're probably not gonna get the most out of your workout then. Another mistake that I was making was I was overeating and binge eating a lot because I wasn't eating things that were really fulfilling me. So, for example, there's a lot of foods that have high fiber, and fiber is going to leave you feeling fiber is going to leave you feeling full longer. And so, a lot of the times, I would just be eating this salad, be like, "Oh, it's healthy," but then, like an hour later, I'm starving, binge eating, and I'm just eating fruit and almonds and this and this and this. And just because it's healthy doesn't matter. I'm still eating a lot of calories within all of those foods. And obviously to lose weight, you have to stay underneath a certain calorie limit. If you're every day going over that calorie limit and you're not working out, then you're gonna be gaining weight. So I was just binge eating a lot because I wasn't A, drinking enough water, and B, I wasn't eating things that were really fulfilling to me. So for example, broccoli's fulfilling, um, avocados, hummus, eggs, almonds, like I was eating those, but I don't think I was eating enough of those. So I was always feeling starving like an hour later and that led me to binge eat. So drink a lot of water and eat foods that have a lot of, that have a lot of high fiber in them so you feel full longer, like kale. Kale is really, really high fiber. So in my smoothies, I'll put some kale, I'll put some avocado, and that'll make me feel full a lot longer. Kind of going back to what I was just saying a second ago, not drinking enough water can lead to you binge eating and dehydration will kind of make you feel like you're hungry even though you're not. So if you feel like you're hungry, first drink a lot of, a lot of water. And if you don't really like drinking water, then add some lemon to it, which is what I do. I just love doing that because a lot of times you're really thirsty. So drink some water. The next thing that I believed was that protein powder would make me bulky. I feel like a lot of girls believe this and if you're doing certain workouts and taking a lot of protein powder then yes it can but I realized that I can still drink protein powder 
and be slim and do the workouts I want to do. So for a long time, I was like, I'm not going to drink protein powder. But if you want bigger muscles and to be toned, you have to have protein. And I didn't realize that. I didn't make that connection in my mind. So I still do. I do high reps, low weights, and I drink protein powder stuff to my workout. And you need protein powder to make muscle and to build muscle so you can have a, so you can have a toned, lean body. I'll have the protein powder I use down below, but it is an Aria protein powder and it's from Trader Joe's and it's meant for a lean toned body. So don't believe the myth that like just because you have protein powder that you're going to get bulky. Obviously, if you want to be bulky, that's definitely like your choice, but I personally want like a lean toned body. So that's the goal I'm going for. So I don't do like super, super heavy weights. I do more body weights, but I do high reps and low weights and I do lots of HIIT workouts. So it's really like fast paced and I keep my heart rate up. Another thing that was really an issue for me, again, was kind of going back to not really having a plan at the gym. I was going to the gym and not really pushing myself anymore. I wasn't really like sweating. If you're not sweating, you're not really doing things that are really pushing you. If you're just going to the gym, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna like walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes. You're really not pushing yourself and you're not really gonna be burning a lot of calories. So you gotta be making the most of your workout. Really find some like hit cardio workouts or do like a program or do a class that you know is gonna make you sweat and it's gonna make you push yourself. Because after a while, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, your body's gonna get used to that and you need to be continually doing things that are really pushing your body. So definitely try and think about that because for a while I wasn't seeing any progress because I wasn't doing anything new and my body got used to it. So now, like I'm saying, I'm doing this Kayla Itzen program. It's a 28 minute workout. I'm burning just as many calories. I'm still sweating. I'm still dying. I'm at the gym for 28 minutes versus like an hour and a half. And it's been amazing. I already feel like I'm seeing results. It's crazy. I'm sweating. I'm dying at the gym and I love it. <laughs> And last but not least, drinking your calories. Oh my gosh, I did not realize this for such a long time because I would drink a lot of coffee and I wasn't really thinking about what was in my coffee. I'd go to Starbucks and I'd get me, you know, a caramel macchiato and you don't realize how much sugar is in that drink. There's a lot of sugar. So instead I'll be like, oh, I'll make my drink skinny and I'll add stevia instead of just being like, yeah, make it how you want. Doing healthier milk, stevia, stevia has zero calories in it. And just really thinking about your calories when you drink. You could be consuming like 400 calories in one drink and you don't realize at the time that that could be leading you to gain weight. So just think about that too because that was really, really big problem for me. So I think those are all the mistakes I was making. I'll have a lot of supporting links down below for you guys and things that really just kind of helped me realize what I was doing wrong. And again, I'm not an expert. These are just things I've come to learn. I hope I didn't miss say anything or I'm not wrong in anything. But these are things I've researched a lot and have come to know to be true for me. At the end of the day, don't be obsessing over calories, but just be doing things that are good for your body. Um, water, just working out, pushing yourself in the gym, sweating, eating healthy, and just being really um, mindful of what you are putting in your body. Hopefully this helped you guys out, and I will also have what I eat in a day very, very soon for you guys. If you guys also want to follow me on Instagram, you totally should because I just made a second account. It's called Janine Unfiltered. It's kind of an account where like, I can just kind of, you know, do whatever I want. It doesn't have to be super edited or colorful or filtered. It's just kind of me. It's kind of just me being an idiot on there. So if you guys want to follow that, it's Janine Unfiltered. It'll be linked down below for you guys as well. Also check out my vlog channel if you guys want to see, you know, what I eat in a day, my progress of my Kale It Science program that I'm doing. That's my vlog channel, Janine TV, down below. I love you guys. I will see you next Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, guys.